everyone. Good evening and uh, welcome to my page. Um, for those of you who are watching me for the first time, my name is Jen. I'm from Singapore. Yeah, and um, let me introduce myself. You know, I'm a working mom to two teenage boys and also a digital business entrepreneur. So um, today, you know, I'm um, embarking on a new series called um, traveling across the globe with a digital passport you know like we know a lot of things are all going digital so today you know we are all traveling to france with my digital passport and to welcome my business partner rachel hi rachel hello jen thank you for having me here today <laughs> uh, thank you thank you for uh, coming on to my page and agreeing uh, despite your busy schedule as a full-time mom so um, maybe, you know, Rachel, could you just share with uh, the audience a little bit about yourself? Yes, of course. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Rachel. I'm originally from Taiwan, and now I live in France with my husband and my two kids. And uh, since my um, kids, they were born, I became a stay-at-home mom. And now I'm a digital business owner, too. And before, uh, I my major was chemistry, so I was working in a laboratory. So that's me. <laughs> I see. So I mean, it's really not easy for for someone to leave their home country, stay in mm. a brand new environment, and um, you know, and a lot of us as mothers, we all mm. really want the best for our children, and we hope that we. Are able to be the one who take care of our children right yes yeah. <laughs> so i mean uh, this is something i think a lot of mothers we all struggle you know to to take care of our kids you know or to work and other stuff but um i really always salute mothers mm -hmm. who make the decision to stay at home with their kids right yes <laughs> uh, so so can you just share with us like you know yeah you mentioned before that you will uh, um, work in a laboratory. Mm -hmm. So can you share like, how do you actually end up in this online space and join this digital business? Yes, of course. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> as I say, uh, I became a stay at home mom after uh, my kids, they were born. And then to be honest, I feel I'm so lucky I can take care of my kids by myself. But uh, on the other hand, uh, we have to face, you know, uh, the rising uh, expenses uh, every year. So it's quite hard for us just have uh, only one income. And yes. I was always trying to find something to do. But uh, due to my husband's job transfer, we have to move uh, like every two or three years, we have to move to another place. So it's it was very hard for me to find a stable job and uh, as I'm an immigrant and also stay at home mom for several of years is it was really hard for me mm -hmm. and then also uh, sometimes um, I, I try to do a part-time job but uh, I realized uh, when I was um, working I just didn't have time with my kids and I was so panic about this part because uh, I really want to spend my time with my kids. Uh, they um, they are just in the kindergarten. So it's the, um, the, the age that uh, they really uh, need some support or the, the like mother, they, they can take care of them. So I really want to be with them. And also, uh, I want to, you know, like all the parents, we always want to give our kids a uh, what we have and we always want to teach what we know and uh, me too so i even my language and then uh, my culture i want to teach them too because uh, which um this is important for us because we have our family in taiwan too so uh i realized this part so i i, I think I, I have to find something that i can take care of my kids at the same time and then also i can bring my job or my work everywhere because we have to move and yes. then i also care about uh, my family in taiwan because uh, i have my my parents they are there and my family and then in recent years my parents they got uh, their operations but i just couldn't be there with them so mm. it was 
really hard for me because I I really want to support them, and then if they have they they need something, and then the third part is um <clears throat> about myself. So um you know I I always um see my friends they they are working and then uh, they are shiny you know <laughs> I just envy them and then I I feel I can do something for my family too and not only for my family but also for myself so um I was always trying to find something on the internet and one day I found this digital business and so I I am here. <laughs> thank you, thank you for sharing. I I can really understand, you know, um, uh, and resonate with you on a few things. You know, the the part about we our kids are still young, kindergarten mm. age. We need to be with them, and really, you know, I mean, for someone coming from the education industry, I cannot stress so important how a parent have presence and undivided attention is so so critical to their growth and development mm -hmm. which is going to impact them for their the rest of their life and, and the part that you say that you know um i mean you are still generally quite young <laughs> right young mother and you see that you got friends who are already working and like say, yes. friends, right? so you will feel like Hey, what am I doing at home? Yes, at home? that's true. <laughs> that's what I was doing. You know, and the Chinese term we call it like, sorry, no, no disrespect. I don't mean any disrespect, but it's like the Chinese where this term like, is it you like become a Huang Yan right? Like you're coming to stay ah. at home. <laughs> so, so we will feel like, hey, are we contributing to the society? We study mm. so much. Then what are we doing? So sometimes, of course. And our life is up and down. We can't help sometimes to think this way, mm. right? So I, I I feel that that really strikes me very hard because I do know that uh, there's a lot of stay-at-home moms out there who are doing mm. amazing job because it's not easy, right? Mm. But yet they still want to be able to contribute um, to be it the income or contribute mm. to the society and to be able to do something and make ourselves shy because we are capable. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you for sharing that. You know, I feel that um, it's just very close to my heart because I've got friends like that too. <laughs> yeah. So after being in a business for quite a while, you know, mm -hmm. can you just share with us, what do you love about this digital business? <laughs> mm, of course. Um, actually, there are a lot, <laughs> but uh, I choose uh, some part I, I really love in this uh, digital business. So, so, so the first part is our training. You know, uh, my my major was uh, chemistry, so so I, I didn't know things you know on the internet. I can use internet, but I just couldn't do some marketing or something even in front of a camera like talking like this i i, I couldn't yes, <laughs> but I with our training i have learned a lot from our training not mm -hmm. only uh you know the tool uh, we have to use on the internet but also our mindset and uh i i, I just love our training and also uh in this uh technology age and um, the things on the internet is uh, always change a lot and very fast but our training side they update uh, very often so we can always get uh, the latest information which is very good and uh, this this is the first part and then the second part i i really love it because uh when i just joined this business i was thinking about oh this is just my own business so i'm going to work uh, by myself but actually not i have met a lot of people inside and I got a lot of support. Like now, I I, I meet you here. Yes, yes, <laughs> I'm, yes. I'm really happy about this part because, uh, as I, uh, as I said, I uh, am a stay-at-home mom. So basically, I don't really uh, go out or uh, very often. And also, I moved a lot, so I didn't really meet some friends, you know, because we don't really stay and in, in the same place. Yes. And then now uh, with this digital business, I have met a lot of people and uh, I'm very happy and all of them um, 
uh, we are from um, different country and then different job and then we can do um, like culture exchange and uh, even a working uh, working style exchange and i love this part i i i'm so inspired by uh, all of the digital uh, business partners yeah. and then the third part is about uh, myself so uh, before you know i'm i was just a stay-at-home mom and then i was not confident i feel i'm so small and uh, I, I just couldn't do something um, but now um I feel I'm more confident and then uh, happier because uh, with this digital business, I have learned a lot about um, my uh, like self development. So um, and also I'm inspired uh, by uh, all of the uh, digital business partners. So I feel I change a lot and it's kind of breakthrough for me. And uh, even now I can uh, like, like talking to you like this in front yes. of camera. I, I'm so yeah. happy because before I was just nervous. This is not my thing, but now I can do it. Right. <laughs> yes. yes, thank you. Thank you for sharing because I guess a lot of us go through a different uh, and lots of transformation. And this mm -hmm. is really one of it. We all never imagined we can uh, look in front of camera, talking, mm. especially on social media and especially going live on a global basis, right? Mm, yes. yeah. And, and I, I, I think because just like you mentioned that every few years, sometimes we all will move to a different place. Mm. And, um, and it's so awesome now, right? You can bring your business everywhere you go. Yes, and yes. If you go, you will meet different, different global business partners and you just got friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> right. This is so good. Yeah. So you know, I really want to thank you for sharing because um, it really will help to inspire you know many people out there, um, many stay-at-home moms out there, or many other people may think of this. Um, think never ever thought this as a solution because mm -hmm. many of us may think that hey, we are trapped and we don't know what to do. So um, really, thank you for sharing. <clears throat> so. Um, before maybe you know we end off the session, can I get uh, Rachel you to share with us any other things you want to share with our audience who are watching us uh, live or replay today? Yes, yes, of course. So um, my message is, um, you know, um, I feel we cannot change our past, but actually we can change our future. So just take actions and and i know um every everyone we are afraid to change but actually if when we when we start to change we will find it's not that scary so just believe in ourselves and our dream our dream will come true so this is my message to all of um, the audience thank yes. you yeah thank you so much you know thank you uh, rachel for uh, spending your time you know um coming here to share with us your experience and uh, thank you everyone for uh, catching us live or replay and um, <clears throat> like what Rachel has mentioned you know take action you know and uh, it, it may be something that could be in store for you mm -hmm. yeah with that thank you once again and uh, I look forward to seeing all of you next week as I will bring you to another destination Thank you, everyone, and thanks, Rachel. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.